Hello everyone, Bozo Boy here, and I have a confession to make. Now that I've been streaming and uploading semi-regularly on the internet, I believe that I have a moral responsibility to address some of the questionable things that I've done in the past. This is a secret that I thought I would take to my grave, but I think for the greater good of all things, I think it would be best if I be transparent about it. I have punched a child. Okay, but in my defense, I was also a child when I punched him, and it was also kind of funny. To fully understand the story of my proudest sin, we must first travel 9 years back in time to 2011, and I was a very different person back then. Life was pretty great, I was surprisingly very and incredibly social. People actually came to me to talk to me of their own accord, I had so many friends, everyone wanted a piece of the Bozu boy. I mean, I found out that the only reason why people reproached me was because I was best friends with the most popular kid in school, and that made me pretty sad. But I don't exactly blame them, I mean that man was an absolute chad, he, he's 11 years old and he already had 5 girlfriends. Meanwhile I'm 19 and I have never been in a romantic relationship, but I have had several wives in Minecraft so it's pretty clear who's the winner here. We were very obsessed with Pokemon back then, we ran some sort of black market where we uh, bring out Game Boys and DS's into the back of the school. And we would battle in Pokemon Emerald with you know the, the loser would get to be the winner's the winner's slave for the day. Because how else can you establish absolute dominance over your peers? And naturally I was very powerful, I was the strongest Pokemon trainer in the academy. They had to change the rules a bit because I was winning too much. You know, I didn't even do anything bad, like at most I would tell my servants to do my homework or buy me lunch and you know, the occasional bout of vandalism. Okay, when I say vandalize something, I meant I, I would ask them to, to vandalize my table. When I first defeated the artist of our class, I would tell him to, you know, use a pencil and start drawing some nice things on my desk. I mean, he wasn't exactly Leonardo da Vinci, I was never truly satisfied with the works that he produced. But you know, he was the best that I got. And I only found out that it was vandalism when I got caught. And we decided that maybe being the slave of the winner was just too much for a primary school student. So we changed it such that the loser will only have to fulfill one request by the winner. The first time I did something truly bad was when I was having a fight with one of my best friends. I mean, he was saying something really idiotic. I mean, he was saying that fire type moves are super effective against electric type Pokemon. And so, so we decided to settle the score in a Pokemon battle. And naturally, I won. So I forced him to trade me his favorite Pokemon and I released it right before his very eyes. And as I sat there watching him cry over the loss of his most treasured companion, I realized just how much power I held in my hands. And slowly, that began to corrupt me. There were some people who were not happy with what I did, so they decided to challenge me and I did the same thing to them. Yeah, I was probably, I probably went too far, I, I most definitely went too far, but, but you need to understand. I needed to set an example of those idiotic enough to challenge my title as a Pokemon master, but unfortunately there was no honor amongst the people I so savagely humiliated. One of them decided to tell the teacher what I've done, and he confiscated all of our Game Boys and my Nintendo DS. After the incident, my popularity was rapidly declining. I mean, being the Pokemon Master was my only redeeming quality, and my best friend stopped talking to me because I also released his Pokemon. I was getting ignored by people I thought liked me, but in reality, I realized that, you know, maybe they didn't like me at all. Which is pretty understandable because I don't like me either. So I started to panic. I, don't, I didn't want to graduate primary school be, being the loser of the class, I, I couldn't handle that. So I thought of an idea. If we couldn't play Pokemon, why don't we become Pokemon? So I gathered everyone during recess and I told them about my idea. And surprisingly, despite my declining popularity, they were pretty excited about it. Basically how it works is that each player will pick a Pokemon of their choosing and we will act out that Pokemon and we would just, you know, have a bit of a role play. It was basically LARPing and instead of battling with our Game Boys, we will battle it out with our fists. But I think at the back of everyone's minds, they didn't actually think that the other person would actually, you know, hurt them. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's just fun and games. We're just having fun in recess. But I didn't come here to have fun. I came here to win. 
I chose to become an Infernape, and let me tell you, I was an absolute machine. I dodged every pathetic attack they attempted to throw at me. They weren't actually trying to hit me, they were pretending to throw punches and kicks because they didn't actually want to get hurt. And that was the very reason why they would never be a Pokemon Master. And usually during sports class, I would start having asthma attacks after 5 minutes of light exercise. But I didn't have time for that in the Pokemon battle. In every one of my battles, my opponents would, you know, they, they won't do anything more than like a light slap on my arm. And I would scoff in their faces, like, is that all you got? Is that all you got? And I would just charge at them and shove them into the floor. And they would just fall down and scraping their knees. Some of them started sobbing from the pain and I, I did not turn back. Back then, I thought I was doing them a service. I did not want them to waste their life trying to become a Pokemon trainer when I knew that they lacked the resolve. Eventually, I came across this one man from the other class who decided to join his mutual friend. Having won every battle in a single move, I was feeling kind of arrogant. But this man proved to be an opponent, far stronger than I could ever imagine. Unlike everyone else who came before him, his commitment to the role almost rivaled my own. I, I, I would even dare say his commitment to the role as a Blastoise almost surpassed mine. This man, every time he shouted Hydro Pump, he just starts continuously spitting in my face. It was absolutely disgusting, but it was also a very viable strategy. And considering the type disadvantage I was at, for the first time in my life, I was losing a Pokemon battle. And I was just standing there, trying to get his spit out of my eyeballs, and he lined up a charge. He, he was, I think, I think he was using a skull bash or something, I, I, I wasn't sure. But he just started running at me full speed, and I was just, I started to panic. Like, I, I can't, I cannot lose this. I'm the Pokemon Master. A Pokemon Master does not lose Pokemon battles. I didn't create this game for me to lose. I came here to win. I didn't know what to do. And just before, just before he hits me, I, I just told him to stop. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. And surprisingly, he actually did. And he was like, well, what's going on? And I told him, very calmly, did you know that Infernape has a higher base speed set than Blastoise? And he was very confused. He's like, so what? And it was in that moment, that short moment of hesitation and confusion, when I unleashed a fire punch just straight into his face. And his glasses just instantly shattered, and he fell onto the floor, just clutching his face, crying in agony. And I stood there, just pumping my fist in the air, and just started cheering for myself. And everyone else just stared at me in complete and utter shock. And at that time, I thought they were just really impressed with what I just did. But no, no, they weren't impressed. I was just unaware of the amount of damage I just caused to this man's face. After my parents paid for the man's glasses, he was surprisingly cool about it, but I was still punished very badly. So I, I, I don't know why I told you guys this story, I suppose at some parts it's kind of funny. But uh, I guess the moral of the story is that if you don't want to end up like me, uh, don't punch people in the face. They're, they're usually not a fan of that. Mm -hmm.